Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi Hello-y, my name is Loey and we are back once again to take a look into the scary side of TikTok. Today, however, is gonna be something a little bit different. There's no way to really ease you into this, but people have been tagging me in videos that essentially blew the whistle on a supposed cult in South Carolina that's being documented on multiple TikTok accounts, and I truly believe that this is just the beginning. In fact, one of the TikTok accounts that talks about this cult said that there's more coming this month, specifically February 12th. So I thought that I could walk you guys through what's been posted so far. We could talk a little bit about this cult and their social media presence, as well as what's happening to one popular horror TikToker who somehow found herself tangled in the cult's web. This is a weird one. You're gonna have to stick with me and trust the process here because we're gonna tiptoe our way in, but by the end of this, you will be, I was gonna say like scared or entertained, but maybe you'll just be more confused. I, I don't know. I can't promise anything actually. Before we get into the scary TikToks, I wanna say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Parade. When Parade reached out to sponsor a video, I was so, so excited because I've been a fan of this company and this brand for a really long time. When I first moved to LA, I would see billboards for Parade around town, and I always loved how diverse the bodies that were included on those billboards were. Parade offers a selection of high-quality, affordable, and size-inclusive underwear, bras, bralettes, pretty much every kind of intimate you can imagine. I really just wanted to try out everything the brand had to offer, so I ordered a pretty wide variety of things and found that I really, really loved love their silky mesh. It's super breathable and stretchy and easy to move around in, but I also feel like it does give me decent coverage and support. They're always revamping their colors and coming out with new fun collections, and I got this Blackberry shade along with the matching undies. Again, you've got that same mesh, and I love this material in the underwear. I also love this like lace star set. The color for this is called Dream House, which I think is so cute. And I have the matching bottoms too, of course. Overall, I've loved everything I've tried from them so far. And if you guys need the hookup as well, I have one heck of a coupon code for you. When you go to yourparade.com slash 40 or click the link in the description box down below and use my code lowey 40 you get a whopping 40% off of your entire order excluding what's already on 80% off sale, but this is an amazing deal. Like literally one of the best coupon codes I've ever been able to give you guys because Parade is already really affordable. Thanks so much to Parade for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the spooky TikToks. As always, I stumbled across these videos because all of you and my beautiful, wonderful community have tagged me in them. So don't forget to go follow me at LoeyBugXO over on TikTok and tag me in any spooky finds you might come across. By now, the TikToker morgue has become a familiar sight to those of you who watch these scary side of TikTok videos. If you're unfamiliar, Morg, who now goes by Morg Hauntings on TikTok, talks about her life living in the incredibly haunted region of the Appalachian Mountains. Now, Morg's videos have always in the past consisted of recounting her own hauntings, and there are no shortage of those to talk about. She has had experiences with a mimic type of entity that has recreated her own voice to her. It's also appeared as her husband. Like when he's not there, Morg will spot him in her content, always facing away from her. She's talked about haunted paintings, other paranormal stories. She's just generally all around like a spooky storyteller, kind of like me. However, recently, like back in December, Morg received a series of messages from one account on TikTok that went by Children of the Woods, asking her for help. She posted about that back in December. However, in January, she received a set of coordinates. She got additional messages and decided to seek this poster out. So here is her video. I am about to do something very, very not safe and very scary. Do not do what I am about to do, but my curiosity has gotten the best of me and I have been pondering over this for days. 
I received a series of strange messages recently from a very strange account on here. The messages read, I've been watching your page. I think you can help me. Morg responds with, this is the scariest moment of my life. You promote films, right? I have one. The public needs to know the truth. Can you help spread awareness? The truth is within the woods. She says, I do. Yeah, I can help you. But what is it about? And then this poster says, have you heard of the cult that goes by Children of the Woods? Yeah, I received another message from this account a few days ago, and I have been silently pondering on it. Here was the messages I received. They sent me the coordinates. Um, I marked those out because I don't want to risk you guys coming to and something happening to any of you guys. But yeah, that is, that is what I got. I don't like that they asked me to come alone. And I will definitely not be doing that. So hopefully that doesn't backfire. But I am not going without my husband. But I will be heading there this Saturday. So, I mean, I will let you guys know how it goes. I'm definitely going to be filming it or I'll have my husband film it. Because like I said, I am not going alone. But fingers crossed, it's nothing like the worst part of my brain is thinking. I will keep you guys informed. So Morg decides that she's gonna go to the set of coordinates that was given to her by this Children of the Woods account. Now, as somebody who does something similar to her online, I can attest that we get these sorts of messages on a daily, if not like hourly basis. I'm always getting messages from people, whether they're asking me to talk about the paranormal footage that they got or help them understand something scary that happened to them, or maybe they're promoting some kind of alternate reality game and they want me in on it. I'm sure Morg experiences this too, so it really kind of piqued my curiosity when I realized she really was going to go to these coordinates. Like, what has set this account apart from all the others? Outside of the idea that there's this vague cult that's in the woods of South Carolina and no other information. So I went to the Children of the Woods TikTok account, and mostly what I found on it are, like, videos of the forest with creepy audio over it, maybe like a VHS filter, some disembodied screaming in the background of the videos from time to time, but what I was able to piece together was this. In January of 1999, a group of five disappeared after they went into the woods of York, South Carolina for a camping trip. There is a rumor that they were abducted by an unknown cult, which nobody has any knowledge of. Until now, of course. The truth is within the woods, an exploration of the children of the woods. So we can assume that this is the film this poster was telling Morg about, the film that's coming out to expose and talk about this cult. We're gonna return to this TikTok account in a moment, but for now, let's go back to Morg, who, like I said, has decided to go to the set of coordinates as given to her by this account. Thankfully, she decides not to go alone. She takes her husband along with her, and as they start to explore around these coordinates, things get pretty weird pretty fast. So we followed the coordinates that um, we were given, and we've been walking around the woods for a bit now, and we came into contact with this. Um, I, you think it might be some sort of like landmark or something? I mean, it could be, but it's a fresh one. It's fresh? Yeah, it looks like someone may have spray painted it recently. Uh, there's another one right there. Where? Right there, too. Oh my god. There are these upside down crosses throughout the forest that are still fresh, like the paint is still wet to the touch, meaning they were pretty much just put there. We've been walking around here for a while and I haven't seen anyone, so. I mean, Wait. What's that? No, no way. It's more. Hold on. Is it, is it you know how to get out of here, right? I mean. It's just, I know, it's just like, back what, that way. Okay. I don't want to get too deep in here and like get lost. Should we should we keep going? Yeah, let's just. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't see any more, but we will check back in later. Yeah. Talk to y'all soon. Morg would later explain that they got to this area around 4 p.m., but by the time that her next video was posted, it was pitch black outside. They're still finding the upside down crosses in the woods, this time way fresher from the ones that they found at the beginning of the trail. But those crosses were meant to lead them somewhere, 
and finally they found it. One. There's wet again. Two. There's another? Two, right there. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's pointing us. Who's doing this? Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Shh. What is that? Go, 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 go. Oh God. What do you want? No. Stay away from us. The video ends with Mork screaming, her husband asking these people what they want from them, and after it cuts out, she doesn't post again for several days. Well, not several, like three, but it felt like an eternity to me, okay? I was worried about my girl. When Mork returns, she says that she was just going to get back into her normal content, not address it, not talk about any of it, but she went on to explain exactly what happened. On Friday, my husband and I drove three and a half hours to York, South Carolina to follow coordinates that an account on here sent us. And I know how crazy that sounds, and it was crazy. Don't ever do that. Never, ever do that. This account said that they had proof of a cult that's been around since the 90s, terrorizing York, South Carolina, that's kept very quiet, and they're wanting to documentary style get this out into the world because it's being kept so quiet. So I was like, okay, if they're wanting me to come there alone, they're probably telling me some like secret stuff that they can't risk getting out yet. So I didn't go alone, I took my husband, but that's why I went. We got into the woods at around four and I mean, it gets dark kind of soon after that. So of course it got dark and we were stuck in the woods of the Appalachian Mountains at night, which is already somewhere I did not need to be. So at around midnight, we start seeing the symbols on the trees again that we had seen during the daytime. And my husband was like, I bet it's leading us, you know, back to that path. We're probably about to get out. And it wasn't, it was a different area. And we were met, um, I don't even know how to describe what it was. But when I started to get the bad feeling before I even saw those lights in that clearing up ahead, um, I started recording. Something told me to start recording. So I did. And then we saw what looks like torches to me. Um, when I've reviewed the footage back, the one time I've actually looked at it again, it looks like torches. I initially thought it was a campfire and that's why I kind of kept going towards it because I was like, thank God there's campers here. They can tell us how to get out. I bet they're near an exit, but it was several people with several torches. You can kind of see my brain malfunction because you are not supposed to run in the woods at night when you see something strange in the woods. But if what you see in the woods are people, run run every single time. I don't know if they heard me talking or saw my flashlight that I forgot to turn off, but they did turn and start coming towards us, which is why I ran initially. Um, they didn't come all the way after us. They didn't run. Um, they really didn't come too deep into the woods. And luckily, not too long after that, we did find a way out. But the reason I posted that, like there was no captions, no hashtags, no nothing. My process was, this is it and maybe my family will see this video and be able to pinpoint where it is. Because I didn't share these coordinates with anyone, but I did write them down and leave them on our entrance table so that if something happened and we didn't come home, someone would come in that house and see those coordinates. And I thought that was it. Um, I saw that that account posted um, that I shouldn't have came alone. I'm assuming it was some sort of trap, which is what a lot of people warned me that it was but they actually messaged me um, a few days ago. The messages from the Children of the Woods account read, I'm very disappointed. This only happened because you didn't follow directions. We want the footage. Send it to us or we will come to Virginia and retrieve it ourselves. You have been warned. Take the video down now or we will visit your mom at the farm. And apparently they sent her real address. So I'm assuming that whatever I recorded they either didn't care that I recorded it initially because I wasn't supposed to get out 
or they um, didn't think I would like be coming that way. I don't, I don't know. But either way, I don't think anyone was supposed to see what I posted. I will not be taking the video down. Announcement to everyone. Um, people need to see whatever it is you don't want them to see. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking it down, so. They did um, send me the correct address though, and I have notified people I'm safe, it's fine. But yeah, I'm going to watch this documentary that comes out. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm assuming my video is going to be in there, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just happy to be home with Pete. Now that's a lot for someone who claims to be releasing a documentary exposing this cult, no? Why would they want her to take down that footage? And why were they so adamant about her coming alone in the first place? It all just feels like a trap, like a setup, right? The Children of the Woods account just keeps cryptically posting that the truth is within the woods. They did also post that the full reveal is coming on February 12th, 2024. That's kind of why I wanted to get this video out now so you could keep up with it and we could check back in whenever it's fully revealed and we see whatever this is because all of the TikToks on the Children of the Woods account are marked hashtag analog horror, which totally makes sense. I, I did not for like a minute believe this was a real cult. I don't think any of you did either. It's more so like my little brain is just sitting here wondering what the end game is here. The entire thing feels very Blair witchy to me. Supposedly the reason that this film is coming about is that they found a camcorder of one of the hikers or the campers who went missing back in 1999. And there are some recordings of that on the Children of the Woods TikTok. I'll play you those now. <laughs> The account also posted that apparently before the film and documentary is released, they're also releasing something on Steam. Free to play on Steam coming end of February, and it's apparently going to show us how the footage was found. So here's my theory, okay? And I might be eating my words here in a couple of weeks. Luckily, we don't have to wait long. I think this is much bigger than the account lets on. The fact that there's going to be like a full mockumentary as well as a release on Steam makes me wonder who is behind this. I am fascinated and intrigued and I think that the fact that Morg was involved with this at all makes me think that she knows it's going to be something good. Again, I can only speak from my own experience but I get cryptic messages constantly in and out of character for analog horror series. Whether they're asking me like, would I like to make a cameo in a project? Or they're just messaging me in character and sending me creepy numbers and coordinates and stuff like that. And I have never found a single one interesting enough to play along with. And the fact that someone has makes me so interested. Like I am just like, my little ears are perked. I'm ready to know what is within the woods. I am just so interested to see where this goes. I'm kind of happy I jumped on it a little bit early so we could talk about it before whatever this is comes out. I'm really interested in what you guys think though. Are you into it? Are you not into it? Does it seem creepy to you? It's really interesting to walk away, I guess, from a video that I'm making about like a very obvious analog horror and still not really know what it's about 
about? Like we have scratched the surface. We don't really know what happened or what the story is. So I for one am pretty excited to see where it goes and what we end up with. That's gonna be it for me for now you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Nation if you haven't already. A special thank you to my subscribers who are members of the channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive perks like members only videos, polls to help me decide on future video topics, uh, discount codes for my upcoming merch, which is coming much sooner than you think it is, then go ahead and click that little join button. We would love to have you. Please join the channel memberships. We have a ton of fun over there and it's just a fun little space. I, I hope you like it. An extra special thank you to my VIP loves for their continued and generous support of the channel. I love and appreciate you all very, very much. I love you all very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.